I remember hearing years ago, oh, there's stuff in sunscreen that will go into your brain. I remember someone talking about like, you're crazy. What are you talking about? I'm a scientist. Turns out there are certain sunscreens that have molecules that can cross the blood brain barrier. You can find them in neurons like 10 years after people have used the sunscreen topically. So I've become not paranoid about this. I don't tend to use sunscreen. Another day, another false accusation regarding sunscreen safety. A 2017 review study looked at those claims, the review went through dozens of studies and concluded the following. Please pause to read the conclusion. Secondly, all the data about UV filters being neurotoxic is coming from, you guessed it, animal studies, but that's not all. If we look at this table, we see that all the studies about octyl methoxycinamate or octinoxate are done by gavage, which means fed orally to the animal by force, and we are studying neurological effects here, remember that. If we scroll a little bit down, we will see the UV filter benzophenone 3 or oxybenzone, most studies, again, are oral animal studies, but we notice something interesting. A very valuable study, a dermal study, is included in this table. The result of this study showed no negative neurological effect when the UV filters are applied topically. So I can say this. One, you shouldn't be worried about sunscreen being neurotoxic. Two, the route of exposure and dosage matters a lot. And three, being an expert in A doesn't grant you a pass for being an expert in B.